On today's episode, I do a honeydew project for my wife. She builds these miniature houses that go along with the stories that she writes for her books. For this one, she wanted a little sunroom on the side, so I designed it in Tinkercad and 3D printed it, and I'll show you how I did it on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. Here's the finished version in Tinkercad, and I'm using the new beta version, which I'm still getting used to. So rather than show you step by step how I did this, it's really very simple. So here it is taken apart, and I used a boxed element and a wedge element to do this whole thing. That's all I used. So you can see in red here, ignore the, the hollow blocks for right now. In red is the main block that I just stretched up to make that rectangle, and then the wedge is on top of it in blue. So the first thing I did was line those guys up, get them to the height that I wanted, and then I just grouped them together. And once I grouped them together, I'm just going to undo to show these steps, but grouped them together, it's one solid red block with a wedge on top. That's one solid piece. And then I re took that same piece, duplicated it, sized it down a little bit, made it into a hole, and then grouped them together and took out that whole center section. So now I had the basic frame that I wanted. So now I just needed to cut the windows. So I took a block again, made it into a hole, sized it the way I wanted it, repeated it three times, combined those, and there I had the the front windows. And then I put those same blocks in the side, resized it a little bit, took the sides out. You can see this is just coming together beautifully. Now for the angled one here, I actually put the work plane on that angle so I could bring a block straight in. And once I did that, I slid those blocks in, grouped them together, nice straight square takeout at the top. So all it was left to bring in wedge units on the side to take out those side windows, and that was the completed unit. Now, I found to print this, I really wanted the angles to be flat. I didn't want them stair-stepped like you would see like on the top of that benchy uh, test prints or any angled print. So I actually ended up splitting this guy and printing it and so I could put this angled face flat on the bed. Now let me show you that split in Simplify 3D and here are the two pieces and I've already put support in place um, and I'll show you how I did that. I just went up to the tools custom support structure I chose a four millimeter post and then I just add new support and manually put these in just like this. I drop one wherever I wanted. I needed these because I'm going to have a long bridge here and I don't want it sagging. But I didn't want too many. I wanted to make them easy to break away. So I just manually placed them eyeball where I thought it could bridge. And it turned out work to work pretty good. The angle piece, I wanted a support there because that edge was really thin, the right side edge. Now I printed these in ABS on my Flashforge Dreamer. So I'm using the right extruder. I did 30% fill, click generate support. A layer, I did a 0.2 layer height, four top, bottom, and four perimeter shells. Uh, infill was, like I said, 30%. Support was included. Temperature is as you see here, and I did use a heated build platform at 90 degrees, and that helped prevent any warping. And then 60 millimeters per second and the speed. No fan, there was no fan for this. And once I sliced this guy, it looked clean, and it said it would take 2 hours and 46 minutes, and that was slightly off. And this thing ended up taking about 3.5 hours. I used ABS because that allowed her to use a little acetone to smooth it out where she wanted or leave it rough where she wanted. And also I could fuse those top and bottom together easily, and it came out good. There's no warping. It fit nice. So here's the finished product. You can see she did a great job in this little thing. I think she's still got a little trimming and stuff to do on the front, um, but it came out really nice. She's really happy with it, and that's what's most important. So this turned out really good. She's happy with it. It's got a little bit of a roughness to it. It gives it that textured look, and she's happy, so I'm happy. And happy wife, happy life, right? Hey, I'm approaching 15,000 subscribers, and I'm going to give away this Mod T printer after I cross 15,000. So please subscribe if you want to help make that happen. If you like what I'm doing here, please check out some of my other videos over here. And if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon goes a long way. And if you want to subscribe and you haven't, just click on my logo over here. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.